हेलो हेलो यस यस ऑन वेबसाइट गेट एनी लिंक दैट्स दैट्स व्हाई व्हाई आई 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 एम एम ओके ओके अंडरस्टैंड शेयरिंग द लिंक बिकॉज़ थिंक डे द क्लास एंड्स ओके एज अ पोर्टल लाइक टेन डेज ओवर दैट्स आई एम शेयरिंग द लिंक सो दैट यू कैन जॉइन शक्कर यू आर देयर ना इस तरह यस सर ना एनी डाउट नो सम बार बिंडिंग शेड्यूल ऑप्शंस आर नॉट विजिबल इन माय रेबिट पार्ट आई हैव चेक्ड हाउ कैन आई ऐड दैट इस तरह यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ पार्ट वी कैन ऐड Yes, we can add new parameter. Okay. Hari. Sir. Any problem? No, sir. Niranjan. Vishal ka Varsha and Nishiganda uh, are joining today. Varsha is joining. Uh, Varsha is joining. Nishiganda, I don't have any idea about her. I will ask her. Okay. Take me to me. या वर्षा इज देयर Okay, so she is not joining. Okay, can we start now? Can we start now? Yes. Okay. Is she going to be coming, Vishakha? No, it is not coming. She, she, she said it is traveling. Ah, uh, she is trying. She told me that uh, Saturday we don't have lecture. Then how? Uh, you have taken okay she planned that uh, we have holiday today okay he is out of town no that's why right. yeah we can okay. start now then 
Now, today we are going to use our family. How to create our family part? Okay. See, any component you want to create, so you can create through family. Uh, before this, we are just opening the family files from the library. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, here we have. If you want to use anything like column, beam, so what we can do? We are going to use our particular object, like column. So we can use from here. Or if you have already available some components, so what we can do? We are going to load family and we can select from here. Okay, but what happened if we didn't have that? We want to create some different type then so we have family part see how we can use it we have go to file take a new before this we are using project now we are going to use family okay we are going to use a family here you can see here we have multiple family options family templates we have before this, we are using project template like structural analysis, uh, architectural metric, imperial, default imperial, default metric, like this. Here we have separate, separate family element for everything. Like you want to create column only, so we have metric column. If you want to structural column, we have here the bottom metric structural foundation structural column. We have separate. Hello, I'm audible. Yes. Yes. Okay, now see. So we have separate, separate family tools. Now, first of all, we are going to use here generic model. How to create? First, we have to understand that. Then we have to use for particular template for the family okay now see if you want to create just a component you you don't want to use suppose as a structural element then what we can do we can use here generic model so you have to find out one template that is generic one here it is see metric generic model in this we can create only component in which uh, which purpose? Only visibility purpose. You want to create some portion. So we can create into generic model. Or if you want to use as a column, so you have to choose the structural column template. Under that, if you are created any column shape, so we can load as a family from a structural element here. Generic model is working as a component. So you can open as a component only. See, here it is. In component, we can't use this properties of the column, beam, wall, anything. Generic model is simple a component. Okay. First, I tell you the commands here. So I'm going for the generic model. Click on open. <clears throat> See, by default, we have three planes here. First is top view that is known as here reference level. Here it is. And then we have 
front and right view uh, similarly we have back and left also so this is our front and back this is our right and left okay this is our origin now suppose we want to create some shape from front so you have to work with front if you want to create some portion with right view so we have to go for right view and then we can create see double click on it here we have right view see we have reference level at zero position it means whatever you have created here it is placed the same as level zero in your product also okay if you want to create some more levels so we can create here as a plane this is our reference level plane here we have to create some more planes as a level we can't create level here okay we had to create here planes and when you are working with the plane you have to set that first see how we can do that just suppose i have to create one simple box in our reference level so i'm going to reference level now okay and how we can create so here we have create tool see this is a create tab here we have five command extrusion blend revolve sweep and swept these are commands for creating solid and similarly if you want to create a hollow portion so here we have void shape void means hollow if you want to subtract something from the body so you can use void command same commands are there see extrusion blend revolve sweep swept is there similar void extrusion void blend void revolve void sweep void swept blend all five commands are same i hope you know about autocad 3d in that 3d these all command are there also you know autocad 3d anyone anyone knows 3d what oh, sir i know yeah i have used extrusion command okay what mean by extrusion means uh, extend the part to the part in th 3d part you have to give some height to your 2d part yes. yes yes so this is our extrusion so the suppose i have to create some 2d part see by default we can't create here 2d shape to give the extrusion so that you have to go to extrusion directly okay So suppose i want to work with reference level only so we are now in reference level i am going to extrusion command when you are going into it it says create any shape so see we have drawing options here you can create any shape here suppose i am creating one rectangular body okay any time you can change the dimension same way so select and you can change the portion if you didn't get the dimension properly you have annotate command you can use linear angular radial diameter arc length whatever you have this type of dimension you can use them to create that now we have this body i need to complete it so for that you need to go for again you have modify where you are create the shape then click on this finish button this right click okay click on it and now you get the 3d shape here what what is the depth here depth is 250 depth means it is below the level okay or above the level this is totally distance this height is 250 now you can change it if you want to change suppose i am taking here 1000 okay it's completed now you can see in 3d this box is ready in this easily we can change any shape see the select on it we get all sides arrow you can drag and drop that you can increase any time with proper distance okay in height you want to change so you have this depth option or you can change by arrow key similar if you want to change into length and width here we can change by default see the dimension are not there if you want to change in the dimension so you have to go to add it into this first okay so add it extrusion is there so that you are going to sketch again and then you can change it with proper dimension let's change it by 
and this is by 2500 okay and done it again clear like this we can create any type of foundation shape now we want to see this object from any elevation Let's suppose i'm going to right view see this is above the level it is height is 1000 yes no it is 924 keep change to 1000 so anytime we can change in three three all the distances like length width or height anytime you can change but let's suppose it is created on reference level the second thing is we need to create the planes so suppose i need to create one more level here that is at 1200 and we need to create one more object on it the same object 3000 by 2 uh, 2500 and height is 1000 we need to create one more but where at second level second level is we need to create first second level so see how we can do the creation go to create button see that is important part you can understand it easily okay see here we have option reference line and reference plane so we have to create the level through this reference plane because here we didn't have levels here we have planes okay any type of plane you can create see if we are elevation right elevation so that we here we can create two planes which one we can create parallel reference to a reference level parallel plane to reference level or parallel plane to your front okay see how simple by creating a line i am creating here now suppose this height this height is 1200 suppose so one plane is ready here okay now but see here in the project browser it is not visible but we need to work on it how any idea tell me any idea no 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 for that see in if, if we are working with revit project so the labels are visible here in the project browser we can double click on it and we easily we can create the object on it but here we can't so here we have to set it first as a work plane so here work plane option is there so here we have first option set now what we can do we have to set as a work plane this one see this set plane it is very important in project also if you want to create the uh, roof in your uh, structural means we need to create the slabs at a line okay at, at, at angle we need to create one plane at angle like this and then we need to set it and then we can create the slabs on it so that is working okay so we have to set it first so now we have to working with it with on it what we can do so to create click on the set button and it is asking pick a plane or name see here we have only three options like reference level front back and right left so we can't select from here also so that here we have one more option that is pick a plane click on pick a plane and click on ok select your plane which you want to as a set work plane okay see it is and you can show its 3d view or its reference level view so i'm taking reference level view open this view i want to create the same rectangle on it I'm going to create same rectangle and i want to give same height that is thousand and now it is done see in 3d the two boxes parallelly created you can see into right See, it is created on that plane. Is that clear? Any doubt?
Tell me any doubt? Hello? What happened? I'm not audible. Hello? My side, I don't have any. Okay. It is clear how to extrude, how to give height, how to create plane, and how to set it as a work plane. The three things are there. Okay. Now, next is, suppose I am deleting it. This is extrusion command. Okay, let's suppose we have this height and here we had to create some uh, cylindrical shape I want to create. So, what we can do? So, one thing is you can go to reference level. Cylindrical shape means you can create by extrusion. You had to create a shape that is circular. Okay, we get the cylindrical shape, see. Okay, you can see in 3D it is available here. Any shape you can take, circular, but suppose the cylindrical shape will be there, but that is I shape. It is a straight I. I need one uh, drop in the top, one drop in the bottom. That is I shape I required. Means steps we required. Then what to do? So we can't create through extrusion. If we can create, so we had to create three times. Means we had to create one bigger circle on the top, one bigger circle on the bottom, and then extrusion that portion. So three steps we required. See, we need to create here. Suppose I need one drop and a top. So what we can do? Create. We can set as a work plane. Which one? The upper face. Now we can create another extrusion of its center, so then directly not available. Okay, now see the draft is available here on the top. Similarly, we can create the bottom. Okay, but if you want to create in a single step, what we can do in a single step, if you want to create, so here we have next command that name is revolve okay revolve command for that you have to require shape on your elevation because if you are creating on the reference level it give you the we can say uh, we can't place it properly at the project because it is uh, Place as, as, but not vertically, it is placed as horizontally. Okay. That's why that portion we need to create on elevation. What is revolve means? Revolve means you need to create one half section of the body and we get the full body through this command. Now, I show you that in the paint first. If we want to create one shape through revolve, see, I want to create what shape? I show you in 2D from front elevation. Okay, I need to create like this cylindrical shape like this. Okay, if we are creating through extrusion, so this is we have to create separate, this separate, this is separate. But in a revolve command, we can create in a single step. How? So we have to create just its half section, that portion. And we have to rotate this object through this axis. Okay. So that we can get, if we are creating 360 degree rotation, 
So what we get? We get complete body. Okay. Now see in 3D here. For that I need to use elevation here, right? And creating here by using revolve command. So we need to create half section and make sure if you are creating a solid body, the shape will be closed. So now I'm creating here through line. Okay, this is our closed shape, half section of that cylindrical part. And then you need to create one axle line here. This is our boundary line. Okay, boundary line. Now we can create one axis line and then it is at center. So we get complete solid body. Click on done, we get that. See in 3D. Okay. Or if you want inside from hollow, you want to create hollow from inside, then what we can do? Just go to elevation again and create the shape which portion we have solid. Let's take outside portion is solid, inside we have one hollow circle. So go to create, revolve, create the shape from here suppose. And axis is not on the part now. Axis line is separate from it. So this gap will be hollow circle radius. Hollow whole circle, whole radius. See? Now you can see in 3D. If you want tapered shape, so we can use it easily. See? Suppose you want whole, it is inside here. It is tapered in shape, then what we can do, see, we need to delete it and create a taper here, okay, and done, see we have tapered hole in it, I show you in realistic, see here we have small circular portion, in the top we have bigger circular portion. Okay, clear, so tapered portion we can easily create into revolve command, by extrusion we can't create that shape, is that okay, see these modified tools you know already I tell you in the first or second class, these all tools, yes or no? Okay. Now, any doubt in revolve? Now, we are going to our next command. And that is here, name blend. See, in both of the command, we can use only single type of shape. Okay. But suppose, in the top, it is circular, in the bottom, it is rectangular in shape. Then what do? We can't create through extrusion. Extrusion giving you same uh, shape throughout. In revolve, we can use taper, but it is cylindrical always from all sides. Okay, but I need one side is rectangular and one side is circular. Okay, so in that case, we are using here blend command. In blend, what we can do, see, click on it. Here we have, we need to create two shapes. One at the base, second at top. Right now, we are on base. Right now, this is our base. And then, this, when base is complete, then we have to go for added top and create the top shape. See, first we have rectangular in the base. It is done. Now, we need to create one circular at the top. So we have to click on this added top button and added top you need to give this depth how much height you want to give and then create one another shape. Okay, now 
blend what do blend do does it merge these two shapes with the solid see click on done we get in 3d shape this is it merges the two bodies and we get one another shape and any time you can increase its height okay a small rectangle in the top we can create through revolve command okay what we can do change this circle change this circle from smaller rectangle this type of shape you want to create so we can create like this you want to create a sloped foundation so you can create through this blend command okay this step foundation we can create through because it is not available directly on the project library so we can create as a family and save this file so that we can use it in our structural foundation okay हेलो ओके ओके वर्षा निशी निरंजन हरि एनी डाउट इन दिस ब्लेंड कमांड ना प्लीज म्यूट हरि ओके थैंक यू नाउ सी next command we have here sweep just suppose you want to create some shape that is followed by some path okay like pipe you need to create any other shape you want to create for roof you need to create some offset okay so we can use sweep command there See, next we have sweep command. Now suppose we need to create one shape which is followed by some path. So in the sweep command, we have to create two things. First is profile, and second is path, like this. See in the image. Suppose you need to create one beam type shape, I shape, add some path. So you can do that, like this. See. So what we do, we can, we have to create one shape, one path first. then we are creating one profile that is perpendicular to that path so that we can easily create the shape see we go to sweep what is asking for first you can sketch your path or select your path if suppose you are creating some roof and you have to roof offset you want to get see here in the image it shows if you path already available in, with you so that we can use it right now we didn't have any path so what we can do we have to go for a sketch path okay first we are going to create a sketch where we are going to create suppose i am going to create a sketch in reference level sketch path suppose like this we have one path now see by default here we have one 
plane see we get one perpendicular plane in that plane you need to create the profile which is follow on the path so i need to create a circular pipe okay so after this the sketch is done the path is done click on this finish button then it is asking for select the profile click on it and go for edit profile we need to create one click on edit now create the shape it is created on the same plane see i am creating here on this path a circle okay i i need to follow on the path click on done the sketch is also done see we have two shapes now one is path second is profile now click on again finish to complete 3d okay any doubt any shape you can create any path you can create what happened hari nothing sir okay sweep is clear very easy just we need to create one path and go to a profile section edit your profile and then complete it finish it so we get the 3d shape now see in this throughout we have only single shape just suppose you need to create one side smaller circle and the other side bigger circle like this we have to create some shapes so what we can do so here we have our fifth command that is swap to blend it is a combo combo of sweep and blend the name also uh, shows it see swap to blend means sweep and blend the combination of these two now see i am going to reference level i am creating swap to blend creating one sketch path here like a sweep Suppose I'm creating one half circle. Okay, I'm going to 3D, and see here we have two planes. So at the both ends, so here we had to create a smaller circle. Suppose here we have bigger circle or rectangle. Any shape you can take. I'm going to use here first profile. See, here we have two options now. Similar like sweep. two options here profile 1 and profile 2 click on first profile go to edit and here we can see it is uh, not highlighted now it is highlighted so that we need to create here one shape click on done then asking for second profile click on it and go for edit profile and create it here uh, bigger rectangle circle Or rectangular, any shape you can take. Click on OK. Now uh, two profiles are done. One path is done. Now complete this. See, we get this type of shapes. Okay. So if you want to create your own shapes as a component, then you have to use generic model. But if you are precise, means you have to create the particular thing like you want to create only column you want to create only uh, foundation only beam then what we can do we have to use the particular template for it okay that time we didn't use generic model now see the polygonal shape foundation we don't have in the library but i need to create now suppose you want to use it into your model so you have to go to load into project or first you can save this one then you can import it the both option will be there now i'm going to load into project see it is directly not available here not visible here and uh, you can see here visibility graphics and see here components are available here 
generic model. See, it is visible here, but not visible here. Because it is a circular, uh, sorry, architectural part. Now I'm going to create one another family. Okay. Which is described by a structural part, suppose. So going to again file new family. Now we had to create one part which is polygonal foundation. So we had to choose a structural foundation template. Okay. See the box also we can create and put uh, put it into our project, but it is not working as foundation. We can't use rebar on that. We can't use anything like a property of a column. Oh, sorry, foundation. But if you are creating in template, so it is used as a particular object. Okay, we can use in the family. We can use in the reinforcement, all things. Say I'm going to create an extrusion, simple object. Okay. Now I'm going to load into project. See, it is here now. I'm placing here. It is a structural component. Its name is family 2 by default because I'm not saving it. So we have save it with particular name. That name will show here after that. And see, it is working as a Okay. So you can use reinforcement into it also. See, I'm going to difference level 1. Uh, where is the object? Level. Oh, that is not visible. Let's check with visibility graphics. Structural foundation are visible now. Okay, it's connected, yes. Where it is at which level? It is at print level. Here it is. Okay, so we can use it as your enforcement also. Okay, in generic model, we can't apply generic model. Okay. Oh, sorry, in generic model, we can't apply reinforcement. It is just a component. But if you are using particular template, then we can apply. Now it is a structural element. Okay. Here. Yeah. Now I'm going to family again. Next we have five commands that shows hollow post. Suppose you need one hole inside. Here you have one hole. Here you have one hole. Or this side you have hole. What we can do? So we have to go to create and use void option. Simple hole means you can go for extrusion. You can go for revolve. Okay. Now, suppose I'm going to create a hole in it. So we have to set it as a work in a top face. Set, pick plane, okay, at the top face. Now go to wide extrusion and create a circle here, which shows you the hollow section. See, it is throughout, or you can take it throughout like this, and done. See, we get the hollow section. Okay. Any cut you want to create, okay, any shape you want to create, so we can go with this. 
any structure you want to create in it to create on the structural foundation okay suppose you need to create one uh, foundation for your uh, fountain okay where you can uh, fill the water for that you need to create you can create it here okay like like which i show you this uh, going to a uh, this extrusion okay added the extrusion shape i did, didn't need this one i need uh, same shape like this and i am cutting to by 200 because height is 250 na so i am cutting it by 200 see like this you can create okay then you can give the proper foundation in it for proper reinforcement in it by using reinforcement options is that clear you want to use a uh, revolve cut so we can do the tapered cut so we can go through uh, with the revolve command we want the upper portion is small circular and fact bottom is rectangular cut you can use white blend if it is drawn by path you can use sweep white sweep and wide swept blend we have all the options here same is that okay tell me is that okay varsha niranjan hari vishakha how to create grout sorry grout 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 part grout part means means how to create grout uh, let me show you grout means uh, Upper tapered part. This grout G R O U T. Mm. Yes. 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 Because it having another material property. Yeah, to two shapes you need to create, na? Yes. Which grout part? Grout means uh, it come below uh, base plate. Base plate. And above the foundation. Hmm. you need to create two shapes there and they with different material but in same foundation uh, family or need yes. another uh, family just suppose you need to create one plate on this no no okay uh, go in that image one second now here they have shown bolt no here this one here yes. trace c ha yeah. huh. so here they have shown circular grout part also this is the grout part na no? after that blue color this uh, gray color is grout part okay so you can create on the top of that na no? mm hmm of the on the on foundation top of concrete ha huh. pedestal yes yes like here you have to create na in in top of this yes yes so what we can do i show you na you have to create one part on this face mm -hmm. like i am creating on the i shape na this this shape by using extrusion mm -hmm. you need to create one more shape on this face see how you can use it you have to set But work plane first we need to create in same family uh, we are using now foundation family no here ha uh, you are using foundation right now mm -hmm. so for But uh, that grout portion, purpose, no, the here here you can't create that because okay. it is a foundation and it is from concrete material yes okay you need to give separate material na so mm -hmm. that portion we can create into the project see into the project Like we have here that uh, on this 
suppose any foundation will be here okay i need to create on this so in the component we have option model in place by using yes. model in place we can create one more shape here directly we don't go into family part okay if you want to create it suppose i'm going to 3d of it i need to create on the top of it on the bottom of it suppose for uh, visibility purpose i need to create one shape here yes i need suppose i'm creating here the bottom you can create a top same okay i'm using set work plane here but before this we have to go to component model in place and you to choose hair family this type of thing you are creating the foundation na no no uh, ground okay. ground means it having another material okay so you can use generic model then okay so that you can change the material mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. or you can use into foundation also and you can create that foundation in a duplicate mode and you can change the material there also it's your wish i uh, teach you that all the part na how to mm -hmm. set the properties at its yes. type you have to create duplicate and change the material okay suppose i'm going to generic model here click on okay okay and directly we can create the part now set the work plane on this pick a plane okay on this face the bottom face okay and go to our extrusion and create one circular part over there that is suppose your grout part and give some thickness here click on okay it is available here now finish your model like this you can create mm -hmm. and you can change the material any time okay go to edit type uh material is not available here okay double click on it so that we are going to family again you part type oh no it's not there the material here you can change the material here okay select your part and change the material any type suppose you want bitumen click on okay now it is bitumen file clear yes so if you want to create directly into the project you can use your com component in component we have option model in place it is also created for family okay suppose here you have this column and see after this around your foundation we have to follow this path and i need to create one step here suppose outside then what we can do same model in place i need to create here suppose generic model for visibility purpose right now i'm creating and here we can use our sweep command okay some shape you need to create after this so we can use pick path here because right now we have shapes go for pick path select your shapes okay click on done we get one shape here see one plane here on which we are going to create a shape which type of shape you want to use here suppose select profile edit profile and you can create that shape here around this column so we can use it turn turn again see So what thing you can use in your uh, family? That all portion, all commands we have into the model in place also. Okay. See, but the material you want to change, it is change into the family. 
it is not seen into the project because it is a family part we are creating the family okay double click on it so that you are in family now select again you can able to change the material here okay clear any doubt this is our family do we have anchor bolt family also which family anchor bolt m16 m20 anchor bolt no in this we didn't have in latest version it is here we didn't have so how can we get that anchor bolts also see this is not available in rabbit structure essential portion this not covered that all the things are not covered in 10 days na no no means uh, we need to create family or we will get uh, no, it is available also. in late in latest versions it is available okay when you are creating the steel part na no? steel yeah. framing so we can use the connections there so that we can use the bolting part there no, no, no. that assembly that is available not, uh, we need a in concrete also foundation bolt to fix the you need to create basis. you need to create um, okay uh, that portion you need to create mm -hmm. but in steel the bolting part is available in uh, proficient of the structure mm -hmm. okay and it is not available below 18 so 2018 versions it is available after it okay 20 okay if you are using 2023 20, so you can show uh, you can see in your uh, file in the project so here we have structure then we have steel option also there mm -hmm. here we have connection option so we can only collect connect our steel part okay here bolting is not available okay now tell me any problem in the family all these five commands are clear similar all void you need to use okay clear yes. okay this is not our purpose electrical connector duct connector pipe this is for mep section mechanical electric plumbing we already use this one the, the reference line you can use we are using generally reference planes so that we can work on it this work plane that show viewer it already done okay that five commands are there in the family can use your annotation portion for dimensioning views you have already this i told you about the windows 3d view you know already visibility graphics you know already section i told you elevation we have already here otherwise we if didn't have we can create it by the views okay so that is our family now you need to practice only how we can create any shape if you have any shape you tell me i create it for you otherwise you practice it first if you are doubt in particular shape you can ask me then i will clear for you now practice it and then tell me if you have doubt see mainly Three things you need to understand. First, how to create a plane. Okay, if you are in reference level, you are creating some planes parallel to your right, left, or parallel to your front and back. Okay. Second is on which plane you want to work. So you need to set it first. 
third these five commands solid as well as void if you did this portion you are able to create any kind of shape okay here also or uh, as well as you can create into the project also by using component model in place that is separate family and that is inbuilt family it is inbuilt family you can directly create here if you don't want to create a family part and save this file and then import it so you can directly create it here okay now try it okay now we have one thing left that is our analyze portion how to apply the boundary condition load load combination support <coughs> and all now, then essential part is done okay so if you want tomorrow you class tell me tomorrow in the morning can you take if you want monday? the class tomorrow ha on monday also yes if i'm available definitely we can do on monday i have to go to delhi for some work in morning if i come back so we can do on monday also no problem you are not taking annotation part uh, for detailing sorry so for detailing purpose if we want to create a drawing for these two model drawing creation so you can use your annotate na you have so i tell you these are commands na hi on the sheet i told but uh, see i am going to the sheet hmm. here you want to give the dimensions na hmm go to annotate and place it by using linear align whatever you want to okay, suppose i need to create from here to here to here to here like this go to align and place it means we need to uh, annotate in sheet not in uh, means that particular section part you can create Other there thing. also okay. i am going to a uh, level 1 you want to place it here suppose to go mm -hmm. for going to align and you can place from here to here here to here okay okay you can place it easily we have all the command bana to hai open kiya okay okay so you can use any com command here you want to highlight some portion we have revisional cloud Okay, the shape you want to create here for that can use the okay. so that are specific things. Now you you know already these all things. You want to create some additional lines here, detail line. I show you in the legend. If you want to show here some uh, insulation under this, so we have insulation command. You can create it in that part. See like this. So it is not visible here. It is width is very low. increase it by suppose 500 like this see so that is visibility purpose you can use this annotation part okay you want to tag something so here we have tag option tagging so you need to select the category and you can give the value there what name you want to place anything you can give by tagging okay any other part if you uh, remember ki this one you have to do so tell me on the last class on monday you tell me and come with proper practice okay i want some model from you also yeah okay yes 
because uh, in the last class this portion is very small it is completed in 15 minutes uh, in analyze this is completed in 15 minutes okay. so after that we can uh, do the doubt clarification or some other portion if you want to learn you tell me i tell you that but before that new thing you have to complete it this how much you are learning in last classes you have to know that also please uh, okay. up, uh, please upload that video also yes sir video up, okay video is uploaded within 48 hours it is not my hand the hmm. team is there for, for that you can ask to your mentor for it Okay. Okay. He, he, uh, you can. You didn't have time for it. You you have to upload it uh, today. So they are uploading for you also today. Okay. Hmm? Okay. 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 Then good night and practice. Thank you. Thanks. Okay.